you know, sometimes bolites make no sense. Look at these two. Tiny little buttons. What's going on here? These little Danny DeVitos of edible bolete mushrooms. I mean, they, uh, they, they check all of the boxes, right? You got your reticulated stem. You have your white pore surface, non-staining, non-bruising, beautiful brown cap. And uh, they are associated with, uh, well, they're growing under this crepe myrtle, but we have this massive oak. So I'm thinking that the, uh, the roots of the oak go all the way here and uh, the mycelium is kind of uh, hitching a ride even though it's that far away from the, from the trunk. But what's going on? Why so tiny? Why so unusual? That's the weird thing. I mean, the mycelium itself, the, the fruiting bodies of the same mycelium will have many physical, let's call them phenotypic morphological similarities. But you can walk a few hundred feet to a different tree and see fruiting bodies of the same species of mycelium and those fruiting bodies are going to look completely different. They could be twice as big, the cap color can be off, the stem can be narrower or fatter. Many morphological differences exist between the batches of mushrooms, even though they're the same species. So, uh, even though these guys check all of the boxes, they are just so different from the other uh, Boletus very epis that I've, Variipes, also known as the uh, stout bolete, king stout bolete, or the variable stalk bolete. These guys are so different just in their minuteness and the fact that they're peeling like string cheese. I'm hesitant to, uh, to say with, uh, with a high enough degree of accuracy that that's what I have here. I'm actually gonna do a nibble test and uh, find out for sure. So um, check the description. If in the description I say something different, then uh, yeah, then I was wrong. But there you go. Cute little Bolitas Veriipes, King Stout Bolites.